What's up YouTube? This is Genesis 121. Got part 3 here of how to set up a quarantine tank. And as you can see here, the quarantine tank is set up. Um, I have the uh, 10 gallon tank here. Got a uh, thermometer on there. Got some uh, MaxiJet 1200 in there. A Marineland 50 watt heater. Um, got some artificial decoration uh, PVC pipe um, make sure you want to do that instead of uh, using um, live sand or live rock in here uh, the reason why you want to uh, use artificial decoration is that you don't want something that's going to basically if you're going to be copper dosing you don't want anything in here that will be uh, basically pulling, absorbing those, uh, absorbing that copper. So um, I've got a uh, hang on the back filter there, which is the uh, Aquatop uh, UV PF15. I've got myself a little dual fan sitting on top of that, so that's controlling the uh, temperature in there, uh, keeping it at a steady temperature. Got this uh, CCAM uh, ammonia alert. It's, uh, it's very important when having a quarantine tank is monitoring your ammonia levels because those seem to be the things that fluctuate the most and rise. So stay on, you want to make sure you're staying on top of your water changes, monitoring your ammonia, and um, making sure that your uh, new uh, fish that you have are staying healthy. Um, you can see I got all my wires there. They're pretty much a mess right now, but. The uh, lights are on a timer, and those are all the controls for everything. Um, then I've got a little uh, feeder inside there. Uh, basically, I drop the food in there, and that keeps it from blowing around everywhere. And another thing I want to emphasize is making sure that you have all your uh, equipment dedicated for um, your quarantine tank. So as you can see here, I have everything that's for this quarantine tank is separated by itself in this uh, in this box here and um, none of this stuff gets used or mixed with the uh, with the anything that I use on my main display tank this is all dedicated for the quarantine tank you want to make sure you do that to make sure you're not cross contaminating anything uh, with your main display and like I said I recommend this again this is uh, I've been using this and uh, it really helps uh, not having to do water changes all the time. I get uh, ammonia spikes sometimes. Um, I've been dosing this daily or every other day, just putting some of this in here in the tank and just staying on top, uh, making sure that ammonia and all that is not uh, rising high, and then doing water changes on that. And test, still testing out everything. Um, I also put the uh, internal filter that came with this uh, tank. I had that. I had that running on there, and uh, I ha what I have inside there is actual uh, media, like ceramic rings and stuff. So, um, trying to get that biological uh, biological filtration going on this tank, so it'll keep going and be able to support the inhabitants in there. So. Um, you guys saw before that uh, filter that I had actually uh, this Aquatop UV uh, or PF15 UV. Um, when I first set this up, the quartz sleeve was actually broke on this, and that was that really sucked when I was setting this up. So I called the uh, people that I got it from um, Pet Solutions, and they sent me out a second one. Um, I arrived pretty fast. It was got here like three days later, and unfortunately, the same exact thing was wrong with the second one they sent me. So the quartz sleeve was busted on that. So I called their customer service. I was really upset about that, and uh, they told me they can send me out another one or refund my money. So I was like, you know, I really need this filter. So can you send me out another one? So they sent me out another one, and. Finally, the third one they sent out was working. So um, the good thing about it was the two broken uh, filters, they uh, they didn't ask for me to send those back to them. They just let me keep them. So I've actually uh, went online and purchased the quartz sleeves for those. 
So if anyone's looking to uh, buy these, I have two available if you want to buy them. Um, just send me a message, let me know, and uh, we'll work out um, some prices and stuff like that. So if you're interested, just let me know. I mean, these things work great for small tanks or quarantine tanks. So um, as you can see, inside the quarantine tank right now, I have a snowflake clownfish, and this fish is just stunning. It looks awesome. Um, looks really good. And then back here in the back, I have a blue jaw uh, or blue dot sleeper goby, and um, it's been doing good in this quarantine tank. It's kind of all of his element because there's no substrate in here. Um, these, when I bought this fish at the LFS, it was basically going around and these type of fish they sift through the sand bed and they pick up mouthfuls of uh, sand and they basically eat out all the detritus or find any um, thing in the sand bed and they that's what they eat so I've been feeding these fish I've been feeding the fish and he'll pick up some of the uh, food that may fall down to the bottom but I'm um, pretty sure he'll be a lot better off once he uh, goes through this quarantine phase and actually makes it into the main display but um, yeah this here it is it's set up uh, another point I want to make um, when having a quarantine tank is monitor uh, your salinity when you have a small tank like this it's easy for uh, sal your salinity or your specific gravity to fluctuate um, I will be having a JBJ auto top off set up on here but if you don't have an auto top off set up on there stay on top of topping up your quarantine tank because um, just a little bit just maybe if you even say an inch uh, of water if you had evaporation going on like an inch um, that'll fluctuate your salinity pretty high uh, with a tank this small so very important to stay on top of topping off your quarantine tanks that's another important thing but um, it's set up thanks for watching Bumping Jesus music in my old school He made me a son, shout out to my old dude